ladies and gentlemen, Dame Edna Every. strategically in a hospital ward here in Melbourne for you to say hello to your beloved husband who of course has not been seen publicly now for many many years. Well I'm afraid Norm is dead darling. He's... He... Please that's terribly tasteless. He... Oh, well, that's sickening isn't it? He's dead to the world. Oh, the he's, he's heavily sedated. They wanted to bring him here but I think he's his technology would probably interfere, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I must say that this show is being watched by my wonderful mother in a maximum security twilight home, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I was a pretty ordinary type of almost a frumpy woman then. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that look is coming back too. Hello peoples. Um, my name's Kath Day and this is my daughter Kim. Hoi. <laughs> and we're here tonight to honour you with our presence um, to present for you the most outstanding Logie for the most popular lifestyle program. Mum, 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 mum. I've just seen Richie from Secret Life of Us. Richie, I'm a hornbag. I can turn you back. <laughs> Will you sign my G-string later? You look very stupid in that outfit, I have to say. I mean, you're a large girl and you're leaving very little of the imagination in that. 
You are so five minutes ago, Mum. I mean, don't you know, flesh is the new black. <laughs> Hello? Look around. Yes, and that may be as such, Kim, but what about your legs? What? I mean, cottage cheese is nice, but not on your thighs. Oh, all right, Halle Berry. I'm not talking to you. Kimmy, I was using humour. Humour. Now, come on, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, wait, two jingies. Look at the time. Oh, my God, I've got to go and move the marina. In a one hour over near the Polly Woodside because I couldn't, you know. You I wouldn't pay, it wouldn't No, kill you. I wouldn't pay, not out of principle, but I better go. Like I'm wearing my flatties. So listen, if we get lost tonight, M O W, okay? Yeah, all right, all right, because I plan to stay. I'm going to get legless, literally, and crack on the J Bunyan. So I think, I don't know, we'll probably go to a nightclub or something, the Hairy Canary, or I don't know. All right, you speaking of that. Word of advice, watch yourself getting in and out of cars tonight because the paparazzi are here, they'll get the camera right up there and your whatnot will be in who before you know it. We're standing on the bloody lectern. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, first up, I'd just like to say what a privilege it is to be here with such a bird. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to working with you, Pixie Ann. Oh, thanks, Dan. I've got a few questions I'd um, like to ask you, actually, Don. Now, um, you've made a career out of barging through other people's back doors. Um, has anyone, has anyone ever backdoored you? <laughs> um, I have a vacancy for a, gar vacancy for a gardener, if you're interested. Pixie Ann, ever since I first saw you on television, I've, I've wanted to come round to your place. Would, could we, if I brought the team, could we... The whole team? Could we put your phone... <laughs>